Logos go by different names, icons, symbols, identity marks, word marks. But all of these words come to say that the logo identify an organization, a product, a company, a brand. These logos here show a great deal of creativity. But at the same time, they are simple, needed, memorable, fantastic. Do you know how much work is behind a logo design? These are some memorable logos that you don't need the lettering to identify the product. But it really took some time for this logo to become so famous and so iconic. Some very interesting logos have hidden messages inside the design. For example, one of the most famous is the Amazon logo with an arrow that from A to Z means that you can buy everything in this website. But also the shocked logo with the socket face expression that tells everything. And the black cut here where the two C's are also the, the cat. The eye of the cat. And finally, the codfish logo, where the fish is made with the computer symbol. They are all great logos, aren't they? So, what makes a good logo? What are the most important elements of logo design? Number one, keep it simple. Logo design must be made to be simple because they are the face of the company and they have to be explicit, obvious. But keeping the logo simple is not an easy task and that is why we need professional people to do this job. Another reason for the logo to be simple is that it has to be immediately identified by all age range, means from the young people to the old people. The two logos here are simple but perfect. The one here plays with the name of the company. And the one here on the, on the right is even more simple because this R represents the name of the company and the needle represents the sector, the business sector the company is in. So I think it's a great logo. Number two, make it memorable. A logo has to stay in the mind of the consumer. Look at the logo here, the Virgin logo. This logo mark, which means logo made of lettering, was created in the 70s when the Virgin was a very small company. The energy of this lettering is a good match for the personality of the brand, which has to do with music. How to make a logo memorable? The most important thing is to test people's reactions to your design. For example, you show your logo for some seconds and then ask people to design it or to, to see what they remember. Any type of logo should be easy to identify and not only by your target audience but also by any type of people. So test, test, test. Number three. Make it timeless. The logo has to work for a very long time, exactly like the company or the brand you work for. These are very famous, immortal logos for Disney, Coca-Cola, Volkswagen. The best thing to do to make the logo work in the course of time is make a research on the company and ask a lot of questions on the company. For example, how do you see yourself in 10 years' time? Your client is the first source of inspiration, so you must know everything about the company, even their wish for the future. Number four, make it versatile. The image of the company that the logo represents must be able to work on different platforms. In fact, logo design is not seen as a work of art. In fact, it is a real problem-solving job because it implies so many steps and so much testing. 
Your logo is not a standalone idea. It has to be to enclose objects, different media, different stars, social media, on everything. So what you have to remember is to design the logo also for the places the company wants the logo to appear. Number five, make it appropriate. You make sure and double check that everything you design or create is appropriate to the company you're working with and especially for the business sector the company is in. You can do this by looking at competitors, looking how different companies have done with the same type of product before you start to create your logo. The three logos, for example, are epic fails and no one wonders why. You got questions? For any question, we discuss them in the class. Thanks for your attention. Bye.